Hey everybody, this is Kent Langley with Digitize Live. And based on the success of the first sort of tool tip I ever provided for the channel, which was on the use of loopback, which I'm using right now to record this actually, I wanted to do another one. And this time I'm gonna, I've chosen a tool that I have personally recommended, I, I don't know, maybe 50 times. I don't even know anymore. And the name of this particular tool is called Descript. It has fundamentally changed the way that I process and handle audio and video files for programs just like this and some other interesting use cases which I'll show you. Let's start out, as we usually do, by just showing you where you can go get it. If you don't want to listen to me, just go download it and start playing. But here's where you can go and find the Descript tool. The most important thing to understand and why this is so revolutionary is number one, it does use artificial intelligence in a very clever way. Number two uh, is because you basically lets you edit your podcast or your video the same way you would edit a, a Word document, a, a text document in a word processor like Microsoft Word or Pages. And so that alone is enough. But in addition to that, it does so much work for you in terms of audio leveling, processing, the ability to export certain types of files. It's just incredible. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the primary Descript interface. Now I've set up a, a demo here and I'm gonna start recording. This is the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start recording and show you. This is a brand new feature that they just came out with that lets you transcribe live into Descript. And you can see, as I'm talking, the audio is going directly into Descript. It's transcribing. And have you ever listened to a, a speaker who says a lot? These are called filler words, and they can be pretty distracting. They can be pretty annoying. I've had a couple of speaker coaches that have helped me deal with a couple of mine, but they still come back, especially when I'm tired, to show you a very awesome, just, a, just an incredible feature. So with that, I'm going to stop the recording over there. Okay, great. So you can see what's happened, but here you'll see an um, and, and there's a lot of these and some weird things, like I said, a lot or, you know, anywhere I might have made a mistake. The first thing I might do is say, you know, those filler words are weird. So before I do this, though, I want to show you something. I'm going to come here where I was talking and I'm going to play it for you. So listen carefully and, and listen carefully for the filler words. Transcribing. And have you ever listened to a... Uh, a speaker who says a lot, these are called filler words and they can be pretty distracting. They can be pretty annoying. All right, so this is interesting because I actually wanna get rid of the filler words, but maybe not all of them in this case because I'm talking about filler words, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now because it would be a lot more work. The thing that you have to do first is if you click here, these little three dots and you come to filler words and you click delete all, watch this magic, they're just gone. They're just gone. I'm gonna do that again. Watch, edit, undo. I'm gonna show you an example down here. I am wanting, listen, I am wanting to show you. Okay, terrible, right? Just terrible. Watch this, delete filler words. Actually, I'm just gonna get rid of this entire first paragraph. I don't care about it anymore. Now, I'm gonna get rid of this. Now check this out. I've had a couple of speaker coaches that have helped you would never know I edited that. Now let's deal with the filler, filler words. Listen again. I am, um, okay, great. Let's now click this little button here, filler words, delete. Now listen. In this case, I am wanting to show you. Ah, but there's an unnatural pause. It's right here. Watch this. Case, I am. Um, Wanting to sh still needs a little bit more. Why don't I just cut a little bit more right here by dragging? Actually, we're going to make this bigger so we can see what's going on. I want to get rid of this unnatural pause. It's gone. Now, let's see what it sounds like. Case, I am wanting to show you a very, very awesome just a okay. A a very, so I didn't need all those varies. Watch this. A very awesome. And 
well, it should be an and, but I can't really fix that right now. So you can only do Case. so much. I am wanting to show you a very awesome, incredible feature. <clears throat> I will have to get that. Oh, did you hear that? <clears throat> what was that all about? Let's play it. I will have to get that out too. Let's get rid of that. Hang on. Let me show you. Incredible feature. <clears throat> ah, there it is. Look, right there. That was me making that weird sound because I don't know why. So let's just get rid of it. Awesome. An incredible feature. Uh, we'll have to get that out too. Oh, oh, now I'm referring to getting something out that's not there anymore. Okay. And we get rid of this. And I'm gonna stop the recording. Amazing, so I'll just play the whole thing. I've had a couple of speaker coaches that have helped me deal with a couple of mine, but they still come back, especially when I'm tired. And so, in this case, I am wanting to show you a very awesome, incredible feature. I'm gonna stop the recording over there. Yeah, so look, this wasn't meant to be a highfalutin production, but you get the idea. And I actually brought in a file, so, you know, just like, you can load any file in. So here's another file that I brought in before the show where I just want to show you, I want this to be really clear. Just the filler words feature enough is, is, is extremely valuable. So I recorded this earlier. Hi, this is Kent and I am recording this audio sample to demonstrate some of the ba Ah, okay. See, that's interesting. So I say, hi, this is Kent and I'm recording this audio sample too. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these filler words. I am recording this audio sample too. Okay, I can actually get rid of everything here as well. Now let's take a listen. Hi, this is Kent, and I am recording this audio sample to demonstrate some of the basic features. I mean, if you've ever recorded audio at all and cut it and had to edit it, your mind should be absolutely blown right now just because that would have taken like at least 20 minutes if you're good at it for most people and one other really interesting thing is too when you see where it says here watch this features of the software Descript especially so it transcribed Descript as a capital D in the word script I can actually by setting this little correct text in here I can fix that it doesn't do anything bad to the audio the software Descript it's amazing all the filler words are gone I fixed the text and now if I want I can actually come in here and say export the text as a Microsoft Word document you might say to yourself well why would I want to do that well if you have a larger body of work here let me show you an example of how I'm using Descript at Digitize Live I recently produced a show called EXO World Summit and in that show there were many 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 recordings so take a look here at this particular recording for example zoom in and zoom out with John Hagel and when you click in here and look at the recording that's been published after the show you can see if I let's just say I scrub back to a minute I don't think you'll be able to hear this but let me see I can add it in here let's try that can Valley most successful ones who have a very different approach to okay so that's a minute seven so if you scroll down here and look find a minute oh and here it is Silicon Valley the most successful ones maybe you just decide to read the transcript and you say oh, so it's powerful for companies that's at 254 so let's go up here and scrub through this is this is kind of amazing by the way accelerate the movement even further so it's powerful for companies. Okay. I mean, come on. That is awesome. And I, I, it, it's just an incredible feature. We recently been able to add search in here. So if I search for powerful inside this, I'll find the zoom in, zoom out talk where we just were. Uh, and then I can find powerful on the page here and here. All the mentions of John says powerful a lot. Incredible, right? So this is just an example kind of a non-traditional example of how you could use the audio, the text export feature in synchronization with the videos that you're analyzing using a tool like Descript and, and editing. So it's a, a really amazing uh, thing to be able to do. This tool doesn't just do audio, it also does video. So I have this example here of a, a talk I did that's also recorded on the show. It's uh, seven tips 
uh, for speaking. And I took the first tip, I clipped it out, I ran that then clip in through Descript, transcribed it, removed all the stop words as well, and then I, I in another setup prior to that, I actually synchronized the audio back to the video with an illustration. So just have a quick look at this. I'll probably let this play for a few seconds so that you can see. Hi everybody, this is Kent Langley with Digitized Live. I'm recording a special episode for you about what it takes for a speaker to present live. I've been doing this for a little while now and I thought, well, rather than write them down, why don't I do this recording? Without further ado, we're going to go over. Okay, so maybe I decide I don't like that without further ado part. Uh, so I, I delete that just like this. Now, what is amazing here? You don't even notice when you do it, but take a look. It has deleted not only the audio section, but also the video section, and it has done the work of making sure that that is relatively seamless. Maybe not as good as a true pro can do in a studio with the best software, but you know what, good enough for most of the things that I do. I've been doing this for a little while now, and I thought, well, rather than write them down, why don't I do this recording? Seven tips. These are things that you're going to want to think amazing so you probably barely noticed the transition there and that's that's amazing so the next question you should probably be asking is well how do I get my stuff into Descript well it has a media manager here and you can see I've been loading a few files in here and how do I transcribe these things now remember I showed you direct transcription for audio so what you do is you find the file that you want and in this case let me let me do that and cut that. So let me find the file that I want. Uh, documents. In this case, let me find the file that I want. And I'm going to bring that over uh, into Descript directly into the media library. So here it goes. I'm just going to reach off of my monitor and I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to drop it right there. Okay, so now I have a new audio file. It has not yet been transcribed, but you'll notice down here it gives me the option to transcribe the file. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it's going to ask me if I want to detect multiple speakers and create a composition. I almost always say yes to both of these, and in this case I will as well. So let's watch what happens. This is a small clip so that I can demonstrate this in real time without having to compress and fast forward things. So here we go. Transcribing, 0%, says it'll be ready in a few minutes. I know that this one will be ready faster than that. And now it's asking me to identify the speakers. Keep in mind, it also did some other audio pre-processing to make the transcription and the audio much better. Hi, this is Kent, and I am recording this audio sample to um, stop. And that's also Kent. So it thought there were two of me. Maybe I modulated my voice a little different or something. But if there were multiple speakers, you just put their names in there. And what's important is that now when I do those things like exporting, well, here it is. Look, so hi, this is Kent. And look, I, I made sure that this particular audio file had some, had some uh, filler words in there. So I'm going to delete all those because they're just no good to listen to. Uh, and then I'll show you an actual export, full export of text with, and let's do... It's a very short clip, so let's just do 15 second intervals and export that. It's going to want to export it to documents. And I'm going to have to cut this part out. So we'll go export documents. No, not there. Export documents here. And then I'm going to open up this file for you in pages. It exports Microsoft Word documents by default there are some other options uh, and that's fine I don't I'm using word less and less these days because they just keep messing with my licenses and stuff but here's the file that was exported and what you'll notice is it puts the speaker label in from when I identified the speakers and it's got my 15 second stamps which is what you saw in the example I was using to help improve an online basically an online course for opening XO coming out of the XO World Summit so truly awesome and you know just that if that wasn't enough 
you can click export you can export text subtitles audios all these different types if you're doing video and audio into things like audition premiere final cut pro pro logic pro tools logic i mean seriously i mean pretty much everything that you would want to use to produce your podcast or your video podcast is here and there's a new feature called publish i haven't actually used this yet but what it is meant to do is allow you to publish your work in Descript to people that you need to share it with, probably to get feedback or for various other reasons. Again, they just released that and there's a little video on their blog explaining it in, in more detail. So I'll need to go watch that myself and see what's going on. The only other things, I'll go back. This was that demo reel again. You know, there's just so much that you can do here. There's there's just no way to touch it all. If I go to these audio only, I will I will share over here that there are tons, tons of effects, workspaces. If you're multiple people or working on a single, what they call project in Descript, you can work together, leave yourself comments like you would on a Google Doc. You can add FX and fillers and all kinds of uh, incredible things. Like if I wanted to somehow, you know, modify, equalize, if I want to do audio compression, you can see I can change this thing so that it's just more palatable to an end user. And so with that, I, I've pretty much shown you all the things that I wanted to share about Descript today in this short video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. What I'll ask you for, if these things are helping you, please do me a favor. If, if they're helping you get your work done, if they're helping you help other people, whatever it is, give us a like. Leave us a comment and tell us how. We absolutely love that. It's part of the fuel uh, that keeps us going and making the channel and helping customers. And then give us a subscribe. Uh, on YouTube, subscriptions are everything. You don't really, there's just a lot of things you don't even get until you get a, uh, a large subscriber base. And so uh, we do need your help there. Let's see, we go live with Digitize Live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific. Although we are taking comments right now, uh, if that is not a good time, we're realizing that a lot of people are working, They, especially right now they've got kids at home, and maybe 10 a.m. in the morning on a Wednesday doesn't work so well. So Kyle and I are completely open uh, to finding a new time slot that works best for everybody. Please let us know in the comments. Uh, we read them and try to respond to them all. So that is today's show. We have had a pretty good summary of the highest level features and usability of a tool called Descript. And I cannot recommend enough that you go download this tool and give it a try. These folks are on fire and there are some other features coming with overdub. Well, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> 1,378 in the wait queue to, to show you how overdub works. I know I applied the day it came out, so it, there, <laughs> something's going on there. But when I get that, I think I'm totally going to blow your mind and I'll record a part two to this video. Thank you so much. Digitize live, like, subscribe, tell your friends. We really want to help and thank you. Have an awesome, awesome day.